Rockaway Park, New York. My ethnicity is African American. I could go into detail about, you know, background and mixed and somebody's from here, somebody's from there, but when I'm walking down the street, you're black. I'm a Virgo, 6'1", 220. I work out every day. I'm taken. <laughs> I'm oh, married. Uh, what do I do? I am a medical dispatcher for a courier company. My system of choice would have to be the PlayStation 4. My secondary system is the Nintendo Switch, because that thing is a godsend for somebody that's always outside. I used to tell my dad, I was like, listen, I really want a Nintendo, I really want a Nintendo, and you know, growing up, we, we didn't have that much money, so. I remember Christmas came around, and he, it was a box. It was wrapped up, of course, and I started ripping it open, and I saw the logo for Nintendo, so I started losing it. I was like, oh my god, you got me Nintendo, you got me Nintendo. He was like, no, I didn't get you Nintendo. He ripped the box open, he's like, I got you Super Nintendo, and I was I didn't even know Super Nintendo existed. I thought it was just a Nintendo. And it came with two games, it came with Super Mario Brothers and I believe Super Mario All-Stars. So my first gaming, first game I played was Super Mario Brothers on the Super Nintendo. Welcome to Here we go. HDYG. As you can see, Mike is a very determined wow. person. That's amazing. He is a gamer. Super NES. Loves era. MGS. Metal Gear Solid. He has quite a story with that so one. Stay tuned. He has an awesome library of figures a huge and fan. a Vegeta fan. Mike's setup is methodical in its execution. Thank you, Mike, for having us. And to everyone, we urge you to get Wait to know your fellow Good morning. I work out for about an hour, hour and a half. I go to work for 5 a.m. I work until about 3 o'clock. I come home. I relax for about an hour, maybe two. Try to get some gaming and some time with the family. Then I go back to work. Come back home around 8, 8.30. More gaming if I can. Or just playing with my daughter. Trying to spend more time with my family as much as possible. And then I go to sleep. Wake up, do it all over again. Since I was three years old. My older brother, he's 16 years older than me. And I used to watch him play. I, I fell victim to the, here yeah, you can play player two. And my controller's not plugged in. And I did it to my little brother. <laughs> It took me about a year and a half to gather everything and get it the way I wanted it. It's just three screens, my PC back there, keyboard, uh, my PlayStation, my, my Switch, my Xbox or somewhere I think it's underneath. It was a lot of work to get this the way I wanted it. At first I just wanted to have one screen and then one screen became two and then one, another two became three. And I don't think I ever go back. Like three screens is the way to go. I have YouTube on one end, my gaming in the middle, whatever on the other. Uh, the right side but um yeah i think i'm good I, i'm done i don't think i need anything else and i'm out of money so yeah i used to be a couch gamer until i got my setup but once i got my setup i realized the gaming chair is good to have like the gaming chair i'm in right now it's not 500 dollars. it's not one of those fancy dancy ones 80 bucks on amazon that's all i need what do you think is the most iconic uh gaming controller the most iconic gaming controller yeah uh, honestly the uh the arcade stick if you think about it because that's what it started with. It started with arcading, like, you know, the six button layout. To get a little more serious, do you think that gaming can have a positive effect on people's lives? A positive effect, yes. Um, stress, uh, you just play some games. Um, depression, just play some games. Uh, sometimes, like, I'll just be upset with something and then I'll just throw in a game and it just kills time. And you just, just shut your mind out to the world. Gaming has always been popular. It's just that now social media and the internet just gave it a bigger window for everybody to see now. Gaming has always been popular. People are saying, oh, gaming is popular now. Gaming has been popular for the past 30 years. It's just that now with social media, it's in your face. That one game I wanted so badly, I couldn't wait for it to come out. It would have to be Metal Gear Solid 4 for the PlayStation 3. The big boss emblem in Metal Gear Solid 4 was you had to get no stealth, um, no kills. You had to be completely stealthy. Couldn't get seen, and you had every, you had to do everything on like the hardest mode. And I managed to get that done, and I managed to get the big boss uh, emblem. Nobody knew I had it. Like I told a few of my friends and stuff like that. The Xbox 360 had the uh, Red Ring of Death. Now with the PlayStation 3, the equivalent of that was the Yellow Light of Death, and that happened to my PlayStation 3. And big boss emblem, big boss saves, that whole save data gone, crushed. Try to do it again. Try to do it again. Try to do it again. It's not happening. That was, it, it was heartbreaking because so much time and energy dedicated into that, knowing that you got that establishment in that game for it to just all go away, it sucked. It sucked big time. My Metal Gear Solid Black Label for PlayStation 1, which I stood online for about seven hours and I got Hideo Kojima to sign it and I got the artist Yoji to sign it. The artist Yoji and it's got the original disc 
and everything. It's the most, I would say it's the most important thing in my collection, honestly. I have two brothers, a younger one and an older one, my little sister. And we would play Resident Evil together. We used to hand off the controller at certain parts of the game that was too scary for one another. I would hand it off to my little brother, he would play through a certain part. Or my little brother would hand it off to my older brother, he would play through a certain part. And the jump outs and us screaming and hollering and stuff like that. And my dad and my mom coming in telling us to be quiet, stuff like that. It was just good family bonding. If I'm lucky, about an hour a day, I know that those, those numbers are really low. Being a father now and quote unquote family man, you either gotta dedicate all your time in front of a screen or dedicate your time to your wife and your kids. And wife and kids comes first. If I lose all this today, I could kill us, but I can't lose them. So what's the hardest video game um, that you had to beat? The hardest video game that I had to beat would have to be Kingdom Hearts. The first one for PlayStation 2. The reason why I said is because um, there was a boss battle was when Riku, when Riku reveals that he's being like, been possessed by Ansem, me and my brother had to tag team him. So we literally, I think I, I think he had like 10 life bars or some shit like that. Me and my brother would literally like play. I would take down three life bars, give it to my brother. He would take down three life bars, pass it back to me. He would take down three life bars. So that part, it got, we got beat so many goddamn times. I thought once we beat Riku, the game was going to be over. Party series, Last of Us, um, Final Fantasy games, any game that has a, has a deep story to it. I'm down for it. Like, I, yeah, I play shooters and stuff with the friends and everything. And I'm one of the few people that would play a shooter and play it for the campaign I, and not even go online. Like, I'm all about like the campaign and what the story is about and things like that. I try my best to keep everything in genre order. Like, I try to keep my Batman figures with the Batman, Warner Brothers, and all that and DC comics together. As you can see, I'm a big Dragon Ball head. I love Dragon Ball Z since I was little. That was like my introduction into anime. It was so funny because it started with uh, Pokemon cards. And I think that's I think that's what we all started with. Like you know, any kid growing up in the '90s. And I'm a big cosplayer. Uh, not big like cosplayer like traveling to you know cons and stuff like that. But I try to cosplay as much as possible. I like to dress up as something I'm not. But you know, I don't like myself. But I'm, I'm okay. But um, the funny thing about it is that it's my wife's fault that I got into figurines because she bought my first figurine. The first Comic-Con we went to together was Comic-Con 2008, and she bought me this huge Batman. This is my Sideshow 1 6 scale Batman. This is the first figurine I ever got. Yeah. This is a real, real solid piece. There's actual fabric on it. Yes, this is the suit is fabric. Yeah, I saw it. Was and the funny thing about it is that he's, he's old. There's a lot more advanced ones than him, which I would like, like to get. But they ain't happening anytime soon. This is, he's my biggest figurine, he's my most expensive figurine, and he ain't going nowhere. Because back, back you know, if you're my age, any t anybody 26, 27 years old and up, when we were younger, we didn't have that. You know, we couldn't go online. Well, there was no online, I, online was dial up. So, you, know, you know, things like that. Our esports was at home, couch play. That's how it started. That was our esports growing up as a 90s kid to see like how much gaming has become. Like this is a, na now it's a sport. You know what I mean? Like gaming used to be a hobby. Now it's a sport. You can actually go and get paid for this, which is amazing. Are there differences between gamers now and back then? What are the differences do you think that they are? I think that the difference between gamers now and back then is just the distance. Because everything is online and everything is like multiplayer now, where back in the day, you know, 90s kid growing up, you go to your friend's house, yo, I got this new game. You go to your friend's house, it's like six of you playing on the couch, things like that. Uh, you know, playing 10 hours, 12 hours, 15 hours. Couch play. Couch play does, is non-existent. Revive and I miss me. Shit. Everybody's trying to be a streamer. Even me. But that is the number one fad because everybody is trying to be a streamer. Everybody wants to get popular. Everybody wants those follows. Everybody wants those likes. If I go back in time for 15 years, if I show my 15 year old self this, like what I have, or my Xbox One or my PlayStation 4, it, it's mind blowing. You got virtual reality now, you got 4K, the Oculus, you got PC gaming, you got streaming, you got all that. It's amazing now. Gaming has come a long way. If people say, oh my God, we're tired of Mario, we're tired of Smash Brothers. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of, you can say it's being recycled, but listen, if the people are going to buy it, if you got these new generation of kids that are going to buy it with the new Pokemons and the new Marios that's been dominating for Nintendo for years, don't change anything. Just keep 
going. So is there room for another system? Is there room for another system? My opinion, no, but you know, they're gonna do it because that's the new thing now. So you got some some company out there, million dollar, billion dollar company is gonna try to make another system to jump onto. Do we have enough? Yes, because if they do make another one, I'm probably gonna to wanna to buy it. And I keep saying this throughout the video, I'm broke. I'm a broke black man. So who do you think that could jump in? As a potential well, from what, I, what I'm heard, it was uh, Apple. Apple was going to try to make some type of uh, console. Um, they're going to jump onto the game. So if Apple, if anything, if anybody was going to jump into the whole gaming system or gamer type of thing, it would be Apple. Please don't, because you're already expensive as it is. I hate that it, it kills my pockets. <laughs> that's what I, that's what I wouldn't say. Because holy shit, like you go, you watch E3, and it's like. It's like, bam, 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 bam. And you're like, oh shit, I gotta buy that, I gotta buy that, I gotta buy that, I gotta buy that, I gotta buy that. $500 for the system, $60 for the game, and then you got like six games that you wanna come out in one month, $60 a pop, that's expensive. I don't got parents no more. Just live your life, have fun. Don't dwell on work too much, don't dwell on being stressed out too much. As, you know, as much stuff as I'm doing, I can always crack a joke. I can always just be funny or just be, you know, just positive about things, just always be positive. I, I see the glass half full, not glass, you know, half empty. Just try to be positive as much as possible in your life. Sony game. Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater for the PlayStation 2. Nintendo game. Super Mario Brothers for the Super Nintendo. Microsoft game. Call of Duty uh, Black Ops 3 for the Xbox 360. Handheld game. Handheld game would have to be Kirby's, uh, I forgot what it's called, it was a Kirby game for the Game Boy Color where you actually used to have to bounce and stuff. Kirby All-Star, I think, right? Yeah. I was I just, I wanted it. It came, it was a pink uh, Game Boy game, and I remember you used to have to, like, roll Kirby around and bounce it up and down. Arcade game. Arcade, Marvelous Capcom 2. Will we see you at a game launch one day? Yes, you will. I will be at a game launch one day, someday. Maybe in the future. I don't know. We'll see. I hope so. What day is it? Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome, man. <laughs>